So first of all, uh, I want to ask you for a message for the Hungarian fans and for all the Hungarian LGBT people. So to me, Pride stands for love and acceptance, and since I've been visiting here, uh, I want to thank you all for being that definition to me, um, being so loving and awesome and accepting of me. Thank you very much. So my first question is, uh, I need, I want to play a little game with you. Uh, I will say ages, like five years, six years or ten years, and I want to imagine that uh, what was on your mind and what was your thinking when you were, for example, five years old? I felt like I was confused about who I was. I, th I was a girl, but I wanted to be a boy. What will be your message for your five years old? Self. I have more of a message to the parents of that my five-year-old self. Um, love your kid for who they are and just let them do the things they want to do. You know, I was figuring out who I was at that age. Even though it's young, it feels really, really young, but I was questioning myself, even that little. So, just listen to your kids. So a lot of time passed and you are 15 years old now. What is your message for your 50 years old self and what is the situation with you at that age? Confused on what my body is doing. Uh, going through puberty as a female was very confusing and I'm a guy in a girl's body and that's when I knew at that point for sure that um, I'm a man. Yeah. And uh, we are in a really special point of your life when you were 19, I guess. What happened when you were 19 years old? So I cut all my hair off and I got to finally dress the way I wanted to and started hormone therapy and started going by male pronouns and I was happy. I was content. I started becoming uh, who I've always been. What was your plans at that time? I mean, that was a big point for you. That that was a really, really big change. But have you imagined that you will go that far? Because you are from America, from the USA, you are here now in Hungary, and you are speaking on behalf of all the transgender people for all the world, because it's a world festival. I had no idea by starting my Instagram and documenting my journey that anyone would take interest. It was more for myself when I started. I wanted to see my voice progression and the way my face changed and things like that. And to be able to, um, be in the public eye with my journey I think is so important you know visibility with visibility comes acceptance and for me to be able to be one of those people um, it makes me feel very proud and I hope there's many more to come did you have any kind of dream that you will be a transgender icon for the people I did you know I looked up to a lot of other um, transgender icons if you must call them um, when I was beginning my transition and I just thought like they look so happy and and they're doing such good things by being so open about who they are and showing like this is me before this is me after and it doesn't make a difference you know and for me to be able to do that as well has been really awesome let's continue your game you are 30 years old how do you see yourself in in, in not a really short time because you're still really really young but what do you think what will happen in your life and you will 30? Um, I eventually want to start an organization for not just trans youth but LGBT youth so maybe by the time I'm 30 um, I would be able to do that for for those youth that don't have family support and I didn't growing up so it's something I would like to do eventually is um, kind of be be the family for those that don't have one and uh, how do you see the situation now in the world? Because you are representative for them, for those people, and there are a lot of people here who struggle with those problems. Uh, what kind of stories have you heard? What's the main problem right now? The main problem within their families is acceptance. The main problem within society is acceptance and education. A lack of education is a lack of acceptance, pretty much. Um, ignorance and I think the only thing really that can fix that is visibility. It's hard and it's not fun for everybody, but there's no way to show people who we are without showing people who we are. And the more we do that, the better things do get. What should the transgender people do in the whole world to make the situations better? Because the change is also on behalf of them. I think the most important thing um, any transgender individual or anyone in the LGBT community can even do is be proud of who you are, but also be visible, not for yourself, but for those that are to come. 
and the more we do that, the better things do get. I mean, there's there's nothing more important than worrying about the generation after you. Um, that comes with anything. And the more that I'm visible, the more somebody else will be visible after me, and so on and so forth. And eventually, there's no choice but for it to become a normal thing, because it is a normal thing. And um, there's power in numbers. What should the world do? I mean, there's a big cover made rage right now about transgender people, mostly in the USA. There are also big transgender icons, for example, Caitlyn Jenner, uh, who is... Uh, some people just don't really like her as an icon, but still, what the media should do and what the government should do, because you said that the education should be better. Right, I think maybe TV shows or documentaries that focus more about educational purposes instead of making it just a reality TV show. Um, sometimes I think the media mixes things up a little bit and makes it look as though being transgender is more of a fad or a fashion or things like that instead of saying you know, how things really are and what, what transgender individuals actually really go through on a daily basis. I think that would, be, I think that would do the world a lot of good. And if you look at your life, uh, you had big problems with because of the religion, because you grew up in a really religious community, your parents were really religious, uh, and uh, the talk show before that, that was also a topic, the religion. What should the religion do? Because it's, almost, it's, it's always a really problematic thing, not for just transgender people, but for all the LGBT uh, people. Yeah, I think that if religious people um, decided to just love and accept others and not try to um, force religion onto other people, you know, if if you try to force anything on someone, they're probably not going to like it too much. So if they just loved people for who they are and if they wanted to come to religion, they can. If they don't want to, it's not a big deal. I think that everyone should be able to believe and do as they wish. If a young transgender person watch this video, girl or boy, they must think that, okay, he... He's really at the point right now where he's really free, but they just don't have the courage. What should they do? What's the first step that they should do in their mind and also, also in their mind? Well, I want to say that I didn't think that I had the courage to become who I am. I told myself I would never come out. Like, so I understand that feeling of thinking that you're never gonna, you know, be who you really are. And when you're ready, you're ready. And you can't be somebody else your entire life. You, you have your own life and you're not your family. You're not living for your family, your friends or people around you. You need to live for yourself. And taking that first step, once you take the first step, it becomes so much easier after that. And being happy, you'll be able to do anything you want. And you can achieve so much more when you're just finally comfortable and content with who you are. Thank you, Jamie, for all your comments and for all your questions. You are really an uh, inspirational guy for all this community, and thank you for all your work. Nektek pedig köszönöm, hogy megnéztétek a videót. A magazinban egy hosszabb intrőt olvashattok el Jamie-vel, ezt a videót pedig osszátok, osszátok meg nyugodtan, és mutassátok meg mindenkinek, hogy valóban nem a kormány vagyunk, nem az vagyunk, amit viselünk, hanem mindannyian az vagyunk, akik akarunk lenni. Köszönöm, Jamie, és köszönöm nektek is még egyszer. Sziasztok!